the reality of what happened over there. Se van ahí. Va, va, pues me he encantado de verte, ¿oíste? In the movie, The Great Escape. Nefta, ya sabes, Nefta, ya sabes que siempre te agradezco tu apoyo con, con esa cosa, si pues. Sí, pues. Sí. Ah, gracias. Buen provecho. Acá se fueron contentos. Va, bueno, si estuvo bien todo, va, usted. Vaya, que Dios te bendiga, pues muchas gracias, Nefta. Nos vemos de nuevo. I remember in the Great Escape, they used to put take the, it in the, the pocket. In the, the bags, bags and, yes. and down their, their pant legs yes. and just drop it a little at a time while they're not walking around. Yeah, right? but so, that was like a big prison compound, like okay. very, very bad, so that the dirt was not really noticeable right. when they were right. going. But this here is, the whole prison was also like one square block from inside. And uh, another, so when, when uh, I got there, I, someone, a prisoner had given me a hundred dollars. And that was the only money I had. And, but at, at like quarter to five, before the uh, lista came, the countdown came, he called me. This, and this was a, a heavy narc that was in prison. But he was going free the two days afterwards. And uh, he tells me that they had all their plant places where they bought marijuana in Mexico had gotten busted. And he needed a new place to buy dope, right? And then she said, so you're escaping today, yes. And he said, well, I introduce you to this guy. This guy is a cop from Treynosa. But he's coming to ask me for a loan, that he wants to make his house his one story, and he wants to make it three story sky. So I'm telling him that if he helps you, once you're outside, to get away from Reynosa, that I will give him the loan that he's asking for. And you, uh, the, you're gonna pay me this money that he's giving me if when you escape, you go to Veracruz and meet my other brother in Veracruz. They have a big whorehouse in, in a place, not Veracruz the city, but a, another city near Veracruz. And you have to go there And then you're going to meet them, and you're going to take them to a place in Oaxaca where you say there's weed for always. Right? So I said, sure, sure. Oh, because I didn't know what I was going to do when I escaped. And no one of the other people that were escaping wanted to have anything to do with me because my accent, they said, and when you're in Mexico and you're coming through the border, There's like volantas, like in America, that's the, they have that also, which means like they have a checkpoint, 10 kilometers farther down the road, then they have another checkpoint, 50 kilometers down the road, and they still have those here. It's like when you here, you live on the road, you go to Tapachula, the first uh, uh, place like that is Viva Mexico, they stop the buses, And the cops go in immigration to see that no wetbacks are going, no illegal people, and no contraband. So there is, you have to be go stopping. And they say, no, we have it with you. And they speak and they hear your accent. So nobody wanted to give me a, a, a ride away from Reynosa. Because you talk funny. Because they, they, <laughs> that my accent was different to everyone. Si que eso que se mesa, sacala ahí mismo, por favor. Y pedí lo que quieras de comer. Pero, pero pueden hacer una carrera. Ah, va, va. Mira, el, el Cherry dejó, me dio estos stickers de una fiesta que va a ser ahorita. Y hay que ponerlos en algún lado. Si, vos, si usted quiere, o lo regalás a alguien. Bravo, ¿por qué no lo pones ahí en la pared? No? Va, igual voy a dar el saco. Va. Si, sí, porque me vas a llevar donde las niñas. Yo voy a ir después. Sí, sí, sí. Va, va, va. Va, va. Va. I get really happy because now I have this guy who's going to give me a ride. Right? So when uh, I get there, we already have, uh, I have my Texas boots. Right? I got one right waiting for me outside, which were the same clothes I had when I got busted. Right? Ah. But I had my little bag there, but I already sent it out before. And my hundred dollar bill, which was to help me. And I remember I had a, 
the photographs of my girlfriend, who's now the mother of uh, Aníbal and everything. <laughs> but when I got over there and everything, I forgot my little bag with a uh, with hundred dollars and uh, my, the photographs of my the girlfriend and they were left behind. Sí. 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 Va. Pero entonces hay que quitarle un poquitillo de ese borde, así es, sí, pues. Así viene con un buen borde. Hay gente que tal vez me gusta mucho, pero la hace difícil la cocida. Va, está bonita, sí. sí. Va, va, chito, gracias. Para Los chistes, ¿verdad? Sí, los compas, perfecto. De los cuatro que vi. Sí, va. Y, y está ahí uno nuevo que está en la red. Ya te dije que se llama La Verdad en Facebook. Y ahí sales. Va, so then. Uh, ahí salen todos esos. Todos salen, todos están subidos, sí. La verdad. Sí, sí la verdad. So, sí. Uh, over here I'm already showing where. We get out of the tunnel here, and this and this uh, thing, and the, the wife of this other Marcelino is waiting for him over with his clothes, and she had taken my clothes also when we get dressed, and then we go out, and there, when we go out, there's a big party in the house, right at the uh, right side, but it's like a little kid's party, like for five years old, and so okay. there's a bunch of people that she has people who look at us strange, and then afterwards, they must have said, what, something strange in that house. Because all these people are starting to come out there. Yeah? Because after us, there are 22 people left in the same tunnel. The same tunnel. Mm. And the last one to leave at 11 o'clock in the night was Chofo, the Guatemalan you know, Dutch guy okay. that I told you. That yeah, was tall, blue light, blue eye, eye yeah. and, and this way. So then I, I, I walked out of the, the prison and and they give me, I didn't know the city in that Chainosa, right? but they give me direction what to do and I arrived to this big shopping center. And as I'm going in, an LTD, a big LTD goes in and I know the LTDs are the cars that the police use in Mexico, the secret at that time. Right? And I said, oh shit, we go it's slowly. And then the window comes down and it's the person that uh, 20 minutes late, earlier, I did introduce to him, remember the, okay. that I got the money to come and say, hey, que tal? Yeah. come in. And he's really happy. He said, shit, I thought this was all lie, but, but it's really. Yes, that's the cuatro. The cuatro de ocho. So I'm really happy because my transportation is there. Huh? And he's really happy because he's going to get the, the loan that he's asking for. I don't know how many thousands of, of dollars he's asking to make two stories of his house. Huh? There's the quattro. You know the I get it through his car and we drive out of the city. And, but since he's a cop, you know. He doesn't stop in the, in the volantes. De esas dos vigas de No. Una vigas de volante. So he doesn't stop at the checkpoints. No, because they all say goodbye to him. Uh, and they know that it's a cop car. You know, secret police. And I'm going to sweat. Like, after like 25 kilometers, I see this big, like, like four or six cars going one behind the other, and it's the other guy, Marcelino, with all his family, going, and I go, ah, <laughs> say goodbye to this, and pass. So they take me to a town, this guy takes me to a town, like, a hundred miles away from, from the border, and there I'm able to take a bus. I take it off, and then I take the bus, but then I take a bus, and, uh, not to Mexico City, you know. So I take a bus to another local town, and then I change the bus and take it to another local town, and then I take the, the bus. Finally, 
I, I think I, I went to Cuernavaca or some place like that. Was the uh, uh, San Luis Potosí? I went to San Luis Potosí, and there in San Luis Potosí, I finally take the bus that goes directly to go to Mexico City. So that was just to lose anybody yeah, that maybe was yeah, tracking because you. Yeah, I, I think that if they would discover, they would probably be looking for all the buses coming from the border, and just, yeah. but not from nearby town. But anyhow, I arrived at Mexico City at six o'clock in the morning. I, uh, we left there at five o'clock in the afternoon, and, I, and then I arrived at... Left at 12 hours, huh? Yes. 12, at, 13 hours. Yes, right? at six o'clock in the morning exactly, and that's exactly the time that they're still doing another countdown in the jail, and they're realizing that there's 22 people missing. <laughs> they say, they tell me afterwards, you know, that, that became a military that, and, and finally, hours afterwards, they, they found where, where the tunnel has, has been. Do you want to make a safer color? Yes, it's green. Yes, it's green. Yes, it's green. Yes, it's green. Yes, Hoy amaneció esta allá. Si sí, ha sido esta mujer que se lo dijo. Que venga Sí. Sí, pero ya le dije que ya me aburrí. Hoy voy a comenzar a cobrar las mierdas que se echan a perder, ¿verdad? Porque ya no se puede hacer eso. So, uh, I, uh, but in Mexico there's two big main bus stations. The ones that were the buses coming from the north arrived. And there is another bus station where the buses coming from south. the south arrive. Uh, okay. So I, I go in and take uh, uh, out of that place with no problem and take a cab and go to the to the other bus stop and then take my, another bus to Veracruz. Well, it was not it's called uh, I don't really remember what what this town is, but it's it's in Veracruz. Right where the mountains finish in, in Veracruz, brother. Okay. And uh, I arrived there like at, uh, I don't know, maybe like at three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm already in this place, and uh, I asked for that this whorehouse, and then I arrived at the whorehouse, and they're already waiting for me. But the whorehouse is like one full square block. It's like a gigantic courthouse, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, but right, it's, uh, by when the time I arrived there, there's no, it, they hadn't started. Yeah. And then the owner is the brother of the guy in, that had given me the, uh, the, okay. the, the road and said, yeah, we're waiting for you. And then um, he takes me to his house. I do not stay there that night in the horror house, but in his own private house, where they gave me a real good meal and, and everything. But it's a, uh, this guy is really rich, you know, they're millionaires, right? They make my body great. But in his house, they still cook with, uh, he's got a, a modern uh, oven and a stove and everything, but, but He's got his wife making tortillas in a, in a place, and when we have dinner, he sits here, I sit there, and the wife stands like this, just passing hot tortillas uh, to the uh, man. You know, it's, it's like ridiculous, huh? And they say, well, it's good, so tomorrow morning, my other brother comes, uh, and you're gonna go show him where you think we can buy wheat. So next morning, the brother arrives. I already knew that they were all cops, all of them. They were corrupt Mexican cops, but they were federal road cops. Yeah. Okay. So next day, she wasn't there waiting for you. No, no, she wasn't there waiting. <laughs> next day, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, then at the, in the evening, I go. They take me to the whorehouse, you know, and we have a beautiful time, and then. But next day at seven o'clock in the morning, the patrol car arrives, the cops. So less than 24 hours after I escaped, 
I'm speeding down the Berakhrus High.